Have you ever wondered how the world and everything in it came to be according to Greek mythology? Picture an ageless time, a time before time when nothing existed but a vast void. This was Chaos, the first of the primordial deities, a silent and formless entity that stirred the beginnings of all creation. From this cosmic emptiness Gaia, the embodiment of Earth was born. Alongside her Tartarus, the dark abyss of the underworld and Eros, the driving force of attraction and love. These were not beings as we understand them but rather, the elemental forces that shaped the fabric of the universe. They were the first threads woven into the tapestry of existence. Greek mythology wasn't just a collection of stories for the ancient Greeks. It was their way of understanding the world around them, their societal norms, their fears, and their hopes. And from these entities, the stage was set for the birth of more deities, and the fascinating tales of Greek mythology. Following the primordial deities came the Titans, the second generation of divine beings. The Titans were twelve in number, led by the most powerful among them, Cronus. These mighty beings held sway over the cosmos, their reign marking an era of monumental importance in the annals of Greek mythology. Cronus, the leader of the Titans, was a figure of immense power and authority. Yet his rise to power was marked by a dark deed. In a bold and ruthless act, Cronus overthrew his father Uranus, seizing control of the universe. This act of patricide established Cronus as the supreme ruler, but it also set in motion a cycle of rebellion and retribution that would echo through the ages. Cronus's rule was not unchallenged, however. His marriage to his sister Rhea was marred by a prophecy that foretold his downfall. The prophecy, delivered by his vanquished father Uranus and Gaia, his mother, declared that Cronus would be overthrown by one of his own children, just as he had overthrown his father. This prophecy filled Cronus with a paranoia that would ultimately lead to his downfall. In a desperate attempt to prevent the prophecy from coming true, Cronus resorted to a horrific act. As each of his children was born he swallowed them whole trapping them within his own body. This act of desperation was not only an attempt to prevent his downfall but also a stark demonstration of the lengths to which Cronus would go to maintain his power. Yet, despite his attempts to change his fate, Cronus could not escape the prophecy. His actions set the stage for a power struggle of epic proportions, a struggle that would shape the world and give rise to a new generation of gods. In fear of the prophecy, Cronus swallowed his children, setting the stage for a power struggle that would shape the world. As the reign of the Titans came to a close, the stage was set for the rise of the Olympians and the dawn of a new age in Greek mythology. Out of the darkness of the Titans' rule emerged the Olympians ready to claim their place in the cosmos. In the heart of this celestial rebellion was Zeus, the youngest son of the Titan ruler Cronus. Born amidst the chaos, Zeus's life hung in the balance from his earliest breath. You see Cronus haunted by a prophecy that his own child would overthrow him, swallowed his offspring whole, but Zeus's mother Rhea, clever and cunning, tricked Cronus into swallowing a stone wrapped in swaddling cloth, sparing Zeus a grim fate. Whisked away to the island of Crete, Zeus grew in strength and wisdom, nurtured by divine goat Amalthea, and guarded by loyal Cretan soldiers. When he came of age, a determined Zeus returned to challenge his father. With the help of Metis, a Titaness, he tricked Cronus into disgorging his siblings, who had grown inside Cronus ready for rebellion. Thus began the Titanomachy, a colossal ten-year war that shook the very foundation of the cosmos. This was not a mere power struggle, it was a battle for the destiny of the universe. On one side the mighty titans, rulers of the old world order, on the other, the Olympians, a new generation, hungry for change. For ten long years, the earth quaked and the heavens trembled. But the Olympians, led by Zeus wielding his fearsome thunderbolt, were relentless. They fought with a fiery passion fueled by the desire for freedom and justice. With allies like the Cyclopes, who forged weapons for the Olympians, and the hundred-handed giants, the Hecatonchires, their victory was inevitable. Finally, the Titans were defeated, thrown into the dark abyss of Tartarus, and the Olympians emerged victorious. Zeus, now the king of the gods, along with his brothers and sisters, took their rightful places on Mount Olympus. With the Titans overthrown, the Olympians established their dominion over the cosmos, bringing in a new era, the reign of the Olympians had begun, marking a pivotal chapter in the grand saga of Greek mythology. In the age of the Olympians, gods and men coexisted leading to tales of heroism, love, betrayal, and tragedy. 
The twelve Olympian gods, each ruling their own domain were not distant deities but active participants in the world of men. Their influence was seen, felt and revered in every aspect of ancient Greek life. Zeus, the king of the gods, ruled the sky and weather with his thunderbolt. Hera, his wife, oversaw marriage and family. Poseidon, the earth shaker, commanded the seas. Demeter, the earth mother, ensured good harvests. Athena, the wise, was the goddess of wisdom and war strategy. Apollo, the sun god, was also the god of music, prophecy and healing. Artemis, his twin sister, was the goddess of the hunt and the moon. Ares, the war god, reveled in the chaos of battle. Hephaestus, the craftsman, forged divine and mortal tools in his fiery forge. Aphrodite, the goddess of love, stirred the hearts of gods and men alike. Hermes, the messenger god, was also the guide of souls to the underworld. And lastly, Dionysus, the god of wine and revelry, brought joy and madness in equal measure. These gods didn't just watch from their lofty abode on Mount Olympus. They interacted with mortals sometimes to help, other times to hinder. They were parents, lovers, allies, and enemies to heroes like Perseus, who beheaded the monstrous Medusa, Hercules, who completed twelve nearly impossible labors, and the heroes of the Trojan War, where gods took sides in a mortal conflict that decided the fate of the great city of Troy. These are not just stories. They are a reflection of the ancient Greeks' understanding of the world around them, of human nature, and of the divine. They are a testament to our enduring fascination with the unknown, the powerful, and the sublime. Through these stories, the Greek gods continue to fascinate, their tales echoing through the ages. Though the age of gods and heroes is long past, their stories continue to captivate us. From the epic tales of Hercules's labors to the tragic love story of Orpheus and Eurydice, these narratives have transcended time and space, persisting in our collective consciousness. The influence of Greek mythology on modern culture is profound and it permeates various aspects of our society. In literature, countless authors have drawn inspiration from these ancient tales, from the works of Shakespeare who often incorporated Greek mythological elements into his plays, to modern fantasy novels like Rick Riordan's Percy Jackson series, the impact is undeniable. In art, the gods and heroes of Greece have been immortalized in countless paintings, sculptures and architectural designs. The mighty Zeus, the cunning Athena, the beautiful Aphrodite, their images have come to symbolize various human attributes and ideals. In philosophy, Greek mythology has been used as a tool to explore the human condition. The myths often tackle complex issues like fate, free will, morality, and the nature of the divine. They serve as a mirror, reflecting our deepest fears, desires, and dilemmas. And let's not forget the continued fascination with these myths. Every year, millions flock to Greece, drawn by the allure of these ancient tales. They visit the ruins of the Parthenon, the Temple of Delphi, and the Palace of Knossos, seeking to connect with the past. The relevance of Greek mythology in today's world is testament to its enduring appeal. These are not just entertaining stories, they are a testament to human creativity and imagination. They offer a window into the minds of the ancient Greeks, their beliefs, their values, and their understanding of the universe. So, the next time you look up at the night sky, remember the tales of the Greek gods, their struggles, their triumphs, their defeats. These are not just stories but a glimpse into how the ancient Greeks understood the world around them.